and welcome to another Mark Bishop show. You know, earlier this month, we heard the news of the completion and approval for some of the first successful COVID-19 vaccines. And with vaccines for COVID-19 now in approval for global distribution, there is heightened focus on the need to distribute it safely, rapidly and equitably. Many consumers are getting the vaccine at their local small-town pharmacies or major chain drug stores in big cities. Now, my very special guest today is Jason Kelly, General Manager of IBM Blockchain Services. Welcome, Jason. Hello, Mark. Thank you. Well, delivering it... Yeah, thank you, Jason. Delivering it needs a highly sophisticated and scalable supply chain Uh, Using blockchain, hybrid cloud, IoT, artificial intelligent technology apparently, providing trust and accuracy through the shared data and transparency across federal, state and local agencies. Uh, This is uh, research I've been reading, distributors, dispensaries, healthcare providers, lots of others. They've all got to get it. So what does a vaccine supply chain look like? You you said a lot there, Mark, and that uh, you have been doing your reading. Uh, I'll tell you, because you go from vaccine to vaccination isn't a, a small task. And it's it's truly a journey of trust and confidence because all of us want to have trust and confidence on what comes out the other end of that supply chain of vaccination, which is a trusted outcome, which is that we're vaccinated and that we're safe and that we can get to some level of what we used to consider normal. And so that vaccine supply chain is something that is not as it sounds. We mm. say supply chain, Mark, people tend to think of something linear that you're just going from one step to the next. Yeah. And yeah. whilst it, it is, you know, A to Z type of relationship where it is going through many handshakes, think of that, those handshakes as being very, very different than normal. So let's call out some of those things. And first, those handshakes go from a manufacturer to a cold chain capability. Cold chain, just think of a supply chain that has to remain cold. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So let's Mm -hmm. call it cold chain. Mm -hmm. And then that, that cold chain consists of the shipping specialist for that refrigeration. It also then is a shipping capability that could be any any freight or freight capability that could include everything from a truck to an airplane to a a hand carried uh object and those shippers also then take them to dis- distribution centers to get it to those local places that you talk about whether it's a local drugstore or a hospital or healthcare facility so all of those handshakes go through private sector, public sector. They're crossing industry from healthcare and life sciences to in some cases government entities, then into the consumer industry or commercial retail industries. So what I've just described to you, Mark, is a very complex supply chain, one that's, that has different requirements than just the supply chain that perhaps delivered your milk at the right temperature to your grocer that you took home. So that is what the supply chain looks like. And it's different because of the scale and scope, obviously. Uh, Mark, we have to do this on, the, on a global global scale now, yesterday, as soon as possible. So there's time sensitivity and scale, and that time sens- sensitivity is what I'm saying. It, it needed to be done as quickly as possible. It needs to happen as quickly as possible. And instead of a similar supply chain, as I mentioned with food, mm-hmm. if something happens with food, it, it becomes life-threatening. But in this supply chain, we're talking about life saving. And so that changes the the game here where we're really trying to get it out there that soon, that quickly. And then the complexities around that, as we've already seen, have lots of threats, threats with regards to cyber threats, threats with regards to a high level of potential counterfeiting and fraud. So that is the complexity of the supply chain that we're talking about in vaccine, and that's the 
the potential risk and, and threats that we see that are out there. God, I'm glad you're doing it, mate. I'll tell you now, it's, I throw my hands up in the air. Just It <laughs> seems so challenging. I mean, technology playing a role in modernizing the supply chain needed to distribute vaccines at scale. And, of course, if you've just joined me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking with Jason Kelly. He is the general manager of IBM Blockchain Services. And we've been seeing it on the news and stuff like that, how they've had to keep this stuff freezing. IBM blockchain and supply chain technology, the distribution of the vaccine, it's a new approach. It's unparalleled in its scale, adaptiveness, and security. I mean, uh, hybrid cloud, artificial intelligence, blockchain, and security enable each vaccine to be authenticated and information about every vaccine to be securely recorded, including their temperature. So... Explain to us then, what are the other concerns within the supply chain? Well, one of the biggest concerns we we have is that four-letter word, trust. And when you think about trust, right now, 77% of the U.S. citizens uh, alone are concerned about the safety safety and efficacy of the vaccine. Mm -hmm. And so trust has lots of facets. This thought of, of having a trusted supply chain is what we've focused on in making sure that we have a trusted vaccine platform. And so, Mark, when I say platform, that means many things to many people. Just think of all of the existing technologies that are out there right now have to now work together very quickly uh, because we are going through different industries. And as we mentioned before, in the U.S., it has to be federal, state, and local. And getting all of those to work together is tough enough, but working together with data that they can share becomes even more challenging. And so pulling together one platform of trust so that existing technology can work in an open platform. And I heard one of the buzzwords used it hybrid, hybrid cloud. So mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what flavor of cloud that the, where the data sits, it can work together. It can be multiple players. We're teaming with, with players such as Salesforce who are, uh, really down at the consumer and making sure that, that the, the tracking and capability around consumers are there. So we're teamed there with that data. Even as we start to work back into, we mentioned the temperature capability. So AeroSafe is a company that we've been working with. It, it talks about, you know, this thought of keeping that vaccine at the right temperature through the entire process, mm-hmm. that cold chain, as it's called. So when we look at that, keeping all of that together, it does does then bring forward you know technology that says how do we do that better than we ever had before so i'll I'll stick with this thought of a blockchain because you say that word and people's eyes can glaze glaze over or or they think yeah or they think of bitcoin or some other blessed thing like that you know what i mean that's exactly it and and so if you could take blockchain and get rid of the word block and put trust in front of that Hmm. Think of a trust chain then. Trust chain. Right. And think of think of a vaccine being manufactured at one end of that chain of trust. And at the other end of that chain is Mark, Mark Bishop, who, who's waiting for that vaccine to come to him. Please get here safely, and I want to make sure it is what it is when it gets here and that I'm safe. Well, <clears throat> as my kids tell me, uh, he said, well, Dad, your blockchain thing, all it's doing is giving a birth certificate to that vaccine. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, that's pretty good. You, you, you got it. So now you have a birth certificate. And then as that certificate is passed, in each handshake along the way, which is what you can think of each one of those entities we talked about earlier, as those handshakes happen, it's documented. So there's never a question of who has touched it and who has managed it where it's been with regards to the temperature and the locations in real time. So we think of other technologies, such as one of the acronyms you brought up was IOT, the Internet of Things, so that that thermometer that's monitoring the temperature of that vaccine along with the location, so you have a global positioning system with it as well, all of that data is accurate. And it's in real time, and it can be tracked and traced so that It's trusted in that chain so that when it does arrive at Mark Bishop's place of administration, whether it's a local drugstore that you go to in your your small town or it's in 
a, a big large chain that's in in your large town or if it's somewhere in in the middle of Europe in a small town where the population's all of 10 people perhaps mm-hmm. how do you know that you're going to receive what you're supposed to receive well as you receive that injection mark you want to be able to turn around and look back through that chain of trust and nod your head at every handshake showing yes that data is accurate yes that is the right vaccine Yes, that's what I thought it was. So when and if somewhere on this entire globe something happens that's questionable, Mm -hmm. you will know that's not my shot. That was a different shot. That's not the vaccine I took. Or, in fact, that was the vaccine I took, and I need to take action very quickly. Right. So that's that's the difference here, and that's the level of confidence and trust that, that we're working together with the others that I've mentioned uh, in this 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 chain of trust, mm-hmm. you know, to make sure that we're orchestrating that capability. So that that truly is, um, I think, uh, a very unique capability and very rewarding. Now that we know that this can be done as a team sport across all of these players. Absolutely critical. And what a wonderful job you're doing at IBM to ensure this. Holy grail, big deal, waiting for the thing to arrive. They jab me and it's no good. You're going to be able to find that exactly. So this is critical. And uh, by gee, thanks, uh, Jason, for the job that you're doing there at IBM, making sure that all Americans are safe. I mean, this thing has to be 70 degrees below zero, uh, all over the darn world, being transported everywhere. You've got to be able to find it if there's anything wrong immediately. So trust is it. But look, the name of the site, I know you don't like the word block, but we're talking about ibm.com slash blockchain. Folks, you can read up on this. I would have a good look. It's great. ibm.com slash blockchain. All right. A lot more information on that. Jason, thanks for the job you're doing. Pleasure speaking with you. Good luck with everything on this. Hope all goes well and keep your family safe, mate. Thank you, Mark. All the best. Happy holidays. You too, my friend. Goodbye now.